My name is Danya and this is my story. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C., actually at D.C. General Hosp Hospital. I'm a mother of two grown men, um, 31 and 32, and a grandmother of three beautiful grandkids. I'm the only girl. Um, I have an older brother and I have a younger brother. And I'm part of what we call the Fab Five, which is myself, my two brothers, and my two cousins and we pretty much grew up together. My family's life and mine's completely changed in 1994. My youngest brother, Rocky, he took he his life. life. That was kind of hard to deal with. I've heard of suicide, but I've never been around anyone that had taken their lives. And in our culture, unfortunately, we're always raised that it's a black, um, it's, no, I'm sorry, it's not a black person's thing, it's a white person's thing. So like I said, I've never been around anyone had taken their life. Getting that call from my mom took a lot out of me. My youngest brother, Rocky, was my best friend. We were very, extremely close. And for him, someone that walks in a room with this beautiful smile, and lights up a room, it was kind of hard to believe that he was actually dealing with some of the same things that I was dealing with, but I didn't know his was on that level. So after his death, I went through school. I graduated in 1999 with my bachelor's. I brought my first home, and after that, I completely hit rock bottom. I went through a deep depression for 17 years. I was alive, but I wasn't living. I was functioning. And it was extremely hard because um, raising two sons, trying to raise two sons, and you're in this state of mind, it took a lot out of me. And I never, one, I never dealt with my brother's death, so that was the biggest thing. I was working full time for the federal government, taking full classes. I ended up letting them go stay with their dad. But the real reason was I didn't feel that I was healthy enough to actually be the best mom that I could be for them. That was the hardest part. And then actually realizing what I was dealing with and actually coming to terms with my depression. So I did that. I let them stay with their dad, but I still didn't seek help until actually 2012. And I was like, okay, I have to get out of this. So I started going to a therapist, actually searched for support groups for people who lost someone to suicide. And I met this wonderful couple, um, the Powells. They lost their son to suicide. So I started going to their support group in 2013, I believe. And it has been a tremendous help because you realize you're not alone that the symptoms that you're going through are normal, that there's no time frame for when you should be over something. My goal is to, one, to let people know that it's okay not to be okay, but let's get some help. And we have to start taking ownership of our own health. And mental illness is an illness. It's not a curse it's an illness that we need to recognize we need to start paying attention just like we deal with cancer diabetes lupus anything else it's an illness and there is help out there and we need to start focusing on that and one of my biggest things is and my biggest problem is i look at the black culture and that stigma is so strong the mental illness is there we just keep sweeping it under the rug and we need to stop doing that we need to talk about it stop being afraid to talk about it stop being afraid to post it there's help and like i said if we it's okay to not to be okay but let's get help let's work at let's talk about it and stop being afraid to talk about it